Welcome to Diaspora Video Store. Today is another movie shopping video. Yes, another movie shopping video. And I'm currently he have a sack of DVDs and all that. that there have been a few weeks here, and now I want to like basically show what I got here. In any case, it's like several DVDs, and all from my favorite movie store. All came from two different trips and all that. But in any case, so without procrastination, let's go into these. The first one is is from the second trip. It is the Black Belt Theater DVD Special 05 Disc Collector's Edition. This is volume 6 to 10 of the Black Belt Theater Collection, which is released by Ground Zero. As you see, the for some reason, mine, I think the the glue, yeah, it's glue, like wore off. Part out the glue back. As several films, so yeah, this costed ten dollars, and the reason I got it is because I is for one particular film. Oh my, yeah, it's for one film, and it is Shaolin Drunk, as you see here it is and all of that. And I believe it's directed by Godfrey Hove. I might be wrong. So yeah, here's the films you got. You got Shaol Shaolin Against Llama, Kung Fu Who Zombie. Shaolin Drunk, as I mentioned before. Or, alright, let's get over here. Snuff Bottle or Connection and Monkey Fist. In any case, and I don't really like the DVD packaging that is on these, on this set. And I believe there was supposed to be a booklet here. Judging by this, when I bought it and all that, it didn't have a booklet. This type of packaging. Me? Where you have to like physically grab the disc, not on the top, but also on the bottom part, where it has a little, you know, the information that you put in the, that DVD player reads off of. Uh, with this type of design, I mean, depending on how this is, this is the this will might go this way instead of coming out this way how it's supposed to go. For example, here I can actually put my finger here and push the disc back. As you see, I think you can barely see, but. You get my point all that. In case. Um, Black Belt Theater had does did release these films before on you know diff on like different you know individual releases I suppose. In case. So here it is. Like here's how it's supposed to like look. But you can actually put your finger in through and like push it back in. Which is kinda of useful if the disc kinda of goes back in and you can't reach it. Anyways, but Kung Fu Zombie, like all these films, will be quite interesting to watch. I should now think about. I'm, I'm trying to remember if Kung Fu Zombie got a Blu-ray release. I know there was like some Kung Fu Zombie film. I'm not sure of this one, which is released by Gold Ninja Video. Anyways, uh, I hope these are like you know good, good films and all that because for ten dollars in five films, they better be good. Okay, so yeah, this will be interesting to look at when I eventually got to see it. But the first time I'm going to like watch is Sha Shaolin Drunk Monkey. In case I heard there's like a nerd DVD release that has the film itself, but it's like a bad VHS transfer to DVD sort of type of way, like those bargain bin DVDs you get. I have to check if it's like the same thing for this one because the other one looks like a budget buy DVD. In case the next film is another martial arts film is Jet Li's Black Mask. Yes. So this is from Artisan Home Entertainment on DVD. And the reason I got this is because I'm interested in watching some of the Jet Li films and all that. As you see it includes the DVD itself. So yeah this will be interesting to watch and all that because the only Jet Li films i actually seen or films with Jet Li is The Lord of Wu-Tang which I actually have a VHS tape somewhere here. And all three expendable films and all that which also has Jet Li. So yeah this will be interesting to watch. Next one is, now let me do my Daisuke Beppo expression, spine number 75, Chasing Amy. As you see, here's the disc, and here's the booklet. Thank you for watching. In case, yeah, you should watch this channel. Oh, Chasing Amy from the Criterion Collection. Yes, it's a Kevin Smith movie. The reason I got this is because I, it was like one of the out of print like Criterion titles I'm interested in looking into. 
do, but it's basically even though it's out of print, you could cheaply buy for like why well, bought for like three ninety five. In any case, you see, cover art seems to like a little bit coming out on the edges here. But uh, yeah, this is like will be interesting release. Wide screen digital transfer supervised by a uh, similar type for David Clean and enhanced for sixteen by nine televisions. Quite interesting. The only Kevin Smith movies I've seen is like Clark's Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back, and that's basically it. I have no idea what this movie's about, but it's a Kevin Smith movie, and Jay and Silent Bob are in it. In any case, next one is the Dragon Four Pack on DVD, including Clones of Bruce Lee with Je with Bruce Lai, Bruce Lee, Dragon Lee, and. What was the other guy? I forgot. This features the clones of Bruce Lee, Bruce's te Fists of Vengeance, Bruce Lee's Deadly, Deadly Kung Fu, and Big Boss 2. Not to be confused with the 1976 film, The Big Boss Part 2, uh, which was directed by one of the cast members of the first Big Boss from 1971, which that film is also known as Fists of Fury in the United States when it was released in theaters, not to be confused with the second film starring Bruce Lee by Co from Golden Harvest, Fist of Fury in 1972. So the way to tell the difference between both films is that Fist of Fury came out in the US as the Chinese connection and all that. And in that film, Bruce Lee is much more prominent because in the first film, J James Tin, because they were to sign between James Tin or Bruce Lee to be the main star, but the producer or the director saw that Bruce Lee had more charisma, so that it was said to be starring Bruce Bruce Lee and all that. So that why in the first film you only is James Sim is mainly prominent in the first act while Bruce Lee he is also is more prominent in the second to third act and all that. That ends my trivia of the day. Let's get back to the DVD. The reason I got this is because I'm interested in watching Clones of Bruce Lee. He because it's like produced by uh Dick Randall and all that, the a film producer, because there's a very interesting documentary I saw of the film producer Dick Randall who also produced uh, pieces and I think he also produced another Bruce exploitation film but I'm not sure if it's on this DVD. Yeah but the documentary is pretty fascinating to see who was who Dick Randall was as a person and all that and how he actually made these movies and all. In any case I think it's on YouTube so it's called the like the wild wild world of Dick Randall and I suggest to watch it. Back to the DVD. So yeah it has all these Bruce exploitation films here including Clones of Bruce Lee and Big Boss 2. Dragon Lee serves in his greatest film role. Joining him are Bolo Young and Philip Cove from Dragon on Fire in, in this No Holes Martial Arts classic. And unfortunately, the DVD is scratched and basically is both a, a double-sided disc. I expected it to be a two-disc and all that, but hey, it's double-sided in any case. So yeah, Deadly Kung Fu delivers what fans of of Lee want: action from start to finish. Now that's cool. Now the next film I have is considered as what I consider actually, and what I think of several people will consider as the worst horror movie ever made. I consider this to be a fact. To me, this is not opinion. This is that is. Manos, The Hands of Fate. If you don't know, came out back in 1966. And yeah, no, people really think this movie is pretty funny. Yeah, it's actually pretty funny. In any case, Manos, The Hands of Fate. So the reason I got this is because I'm fascinated to actually watch the film itself. Unfortunately, the Blu-ray seems to, I'm not sure, gone out of print or just high rise in prices because I, I used to remember that the Blu-ray used to be like, 20 bucks, but now it's like going like 30 or 40. And it's maybe you guys should get the Blu ray for cheaper prices by the time you watch this video. Okay, so yeah, I got the DVD because Synapse Films also released this on Blu ray and DVD separately. In case, so yeah, the DVD actually is not scratched, thankfully. And it comes with the little booklet as well, advertising other stuff. You know what's funny? I actually thought. Of making a fan edit of this entire movie, but cutting out all the useless stuff to make a at least a coherent story. Because when I tell people about this, I I tell them that this movie is like over an hour, 
but I think you could cut it down to like 40 to 20 minutes because that's like how much useless stuff you could like cut down on the pond in any case so yeah this will be a interesting film to watch and maybe I'll watch it during Halloween next is a film that I really want to see is Robin Williams one hour photo which is like one of the drama films he had done here's like the D here's a back cover and the DVD with a little small chapter selection page reader and there's like a sticker which I'm thinking is like a security tag yeah it is a security tag and it's like peeling off in case oh I kind of like the minimal design of this and all that so yeah the next film is is a film that I also really want to see it's the um, dun, 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 and I don't know how to do the same song in case Return of the Street Fighter. Look out! The Street Fighter is back! And his friends have been waiting for him. They'd all like to see him dead. The Return of the Street Fighter, starring Sonny Chiba. Okay, so yeah, the Street Fighter. Her actors, bios, filmographies, chapter selection. That's all the bonus features to get. So the Street Fighter film, the first time I watched it was during the summer, and I really liked it, of course, because it's like one of the, like the more violent and kung fu movies I ever seen and all that. And well, martial arts movies. I think it gives like a different martial arts that Sunny Chibo was doing. And so I wanted to see the sequel, but I was hesitant to like. Should I buy the sequel or should I just go for and get the Blu-ray, a like Shock Factory set? I just say, you know, I'm just, I just want to see this film. I, I just get the DVD. Oh, so I'm quite fast interested in watching this film because I saw the trailer and it looks pretty cool. In any case, I like how the this DVD makes a lot of noise. In any case, the next one I want to watch is the Ultimate Ninja. On DVD the reason I got this is because I want to see more like obscure low-budget ninja movies more of more from the like films like produced by Joseph Lai and also directed by Godfrey Ho oh like those films and all that where Joseph Lai what he did was like he bought like a film like a ninja movie from Korea or Japan then he would dub it over with English and insert scenes with American actors such as Richard Harrison so yeah but this unfortunately doesn't have Richard Harrison, but it does have Stuart Smith and Bruce Barron. About the print, dubbed with faintly Australian in accents and presented full screen. And judging from this, from the screenshots back here, it probably looks pretty bad. It looks like a VHS transfer. Venom Mob Films, I like that title there. In any case. But here's a funny thing. You get a, a when I open this up, I never expected this a little a note, a note about the film I'm going to watch. Some guy sold this to you know to my favorite movie store and all that because you sell movies to them and all that, and wrote a note about it. That's sort of insane to me. So, okay, first off. It, it's somewhat spelled in cursive, and I'm not a good reader of cursive reading, so mind me if I have like troubles reading this. Okay, let's read this again. The color is terrible, the image is somewhat blurred, the plot is two, two, two simultaneous ones, ones, and the plot, the plot is two. Eventually, the uh, two the parts come together in a meaning in a two who meaningful way the female actresses are all cute though amateurish to some degree this movie has merit alright let's read the back part the plot is that for the some Chinese characters part is the typical children getting revenge for the murder of their parents uh, avenging their parents so yeah I'm unable to read all of this and it's quite interesting to know that someone will actually write this in my Ultimate Ninja DVD. You know, I should like do that. Like anytime I sell DVD, I will just like write like small little reviews about him. 
So yeah, that is all the movies that I have here and all that. As you see, all these DVDs that I recently bought from my favorite movie store. So that's all the video. Have a nice day, and later on, come back to our video store.